Hello and welcome to another vlog from Dabba Dab, Brian Frederick. It's July 5th. Up first we have a new release from Yellow Jello. This one is interesting to me because he recorded this on a Tascam 4-track. Check out the review. Another cool thing is he's documented the creation on this YouTube video. We'll take a watch. That's it. I think, uh, not nailed it, but I did it. That's what counts in it. A very cool thing I discovered is this song. If I play it at the max speed, it pushes it minor third like So then, this flute that's in V fits into it. which would be cool so. but it still affects me you know the main thing perfectionism influences is the ability to finish the projects you started that's why this whole challenge is so effective it forces me to not overthink don't stress about minor uh, mistakes finish a song and move on so check this one out Yellow Jello is from Chechia. He's got other albums available. Very cool. And we've got a piece on Illinois act enacting a groundbreaking law to compensate child bloggers. This may be a trend moving forward. If you're interested in vlog watching, this is an article worth checking out. Then we've got a link to Synth Dog's new EP-133KO2 manual. Since the dog is well known for creating in-depth manuals of different things. I write up a little bit here and then there's a link to Synth Dog. I'm not an affiliate, I just enjoy his manuals. Diagrams and everything. I think this one's well worth Picking up Teenage Engineering's manual is good, but Synth Dog tends to get into the details in another way and not hitting your pocketbook very much, so highly recommended. 
well worth the money. Next we have a review of a album by the Beijing artist Shu Wang. It's got elements of punk, pop, rock, post, everything. Go read the review. Digital album is available. As along with a limited edition 12 inch. It's getting a lot of notice and well deserved. Very cool. Let's take a little listen. So there you have that. I enjoyed this quite a bit, by the way. Then we ran across a zine distro called Brown Recluse. Their mission is amplifying voices of queer and trans, black, indigenous, and people of color. So I have a bit of what they're up to and then link to the website. And if you're interested in supporting, easy to do so. And then their shop has all kinds of zines. So go check that out. Then we've got a little piece on the legendary Pink Dots and their annual summer sale. On their Bandcamp page, Edward just announced the summer sale, which started on the 3rd. All of these al albums, for the most part, are available at a name your price. So it's your opportunity to catch up if you're a longtime fan or a great way to get.
the sale goes through uh, the middle of August, so don't delay. We did get this album up a few days back. I have this available as a free download on Bandcamp. Project went through the month of June. It's available for download right here on Dabadab or Bandcamp. Got a free download code available on Dabadab, so if you want it to show up in your catalog. I think it's a pretty cool album. Turned out really well, I thought. This is how you get the download codes. You can still participate, send in some things. I'll add them if you choose to share. fun sound so if you're a musician go ahead and participate it's it's a fun instrument we've got a project called kid toys from tape germ it was started many years ago chris finney of mental anguish and harsh reality was the main person behind this project. You can download the source audio, submit something. Here's something from Electro Earwig. couple that Electro Earwig submitted.
So there you have it. I'll be participating in this soon. I have some approaches I want to try anyway. So join me. There's no deadline for this. Maybe there will be for an album push. So stay tuned for that. Came across this graphic somewhere in Kaju archives and decided to create a hat. If you want one of these, come grab you one. I think I have one more I wanted to show you. I've got this Albus uh, project here. Tape Germ open source packs were Tape Germ was kind of partially closed to participating artists and then partially open to anybody. So we had loops in a pool that participants could access. And then we had another pool that we would drop source audio into that was available to everyone. This one is consists of stuff that I contributed into my open loop pool, so to speak. So these loops and source audio is available here to download. And if you wish to do so and you create something, go ahead and submit it. I can add it to this list and eventually an album will come out. Here's something from our esteemed late David Fugelwitz.
over the past day or two, I uploaded Dave's contributions to Tape Germ into one album here on the Internet Archive. There are 155 tracks, I believe. This says 152. So go ahead and check that out. Thanks for listening, and we'll we'll touch base again tomorrow. I think on on tap, I I did get a hold of a Zoom R4 yesterday. I'm kind of wanting to scale back and do a project, kind of portable. Maybe involve some other people, maybe not, maybe just scale back on a couple instruments. I've been thinking about doing an album with Arturia's either the Mini or the Micro Freak, something like that, something kind of pop synth, electronic, experimental something <laughs> with vocals and or maybe not so just kind of thinking about that anyway thanks for listening or watching and we'll have more tomorrow or the, over the next couple of days thank you